Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Pryor here, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to save your PNGs correctly instead of going to File, Save As, and then saving it as a PNG or JPEG. So, I'm gonna teach you guys how to save it as a PNG24, which is the correct way to save it if you're using it for the web, such as like a Twitter header or YouTube banner, something similar. And I'm gonna get into it right now. So let's just delete that. So first you wanna go file, save for web. Instead of save as, you would go save for web. And you click on it and it'll load up a little preview right here. And it's already set to my custom presets. But you could zoom out right here to get the full image and you can zoom in to see the exact details of your photo or you, the image you created so first you want to change it to PNG24 or JPEG if you're saving it as a JPEG and if you're saving it as a JPEG I recommend going up to 100 on quality so well, Let's go back to PNG24 here, and you guys want to save it as a internet standard RGB. So for the preview, internet standard RGB. And for the metadata, metadata, sorry about that. Copyright and contact info will be the good choice for you. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't want to play around with this, but I don't find a difference either way. You could choose none if you're really sure about that, but I'd recommend copyright and contact info. So for the dimensions or the image size, you would like to set it to your prefix how you want it. You can hover over the W or the H and you can drag across like that. So let me set it back to how I had it. So it was 1280 by 720 for me. And for the quality, you would like to set it as bicubic sharper. It's originally set as bicubic, I think, but this is my preference for bicubic sharpener. You can play around and see how it look, how it looks differently. So bicubic smoother, bicubic sharpener. Can't really see the difference from a naked eye, but you guys could most likely see the difference once you get into the web preview so by cubic sharper for that and you guys should be done here if you guys have all of this you are going to be good and png24 for the transparency which is the only way you can save as transparent things is through png you would like to set it as transparency through right here in the selection so it doesn't matter if you're not using or using it or if you are uh, it just matters if you really want it but we could keep it on so once you do that you just want to save it and you could go to your desktop here and i'll save it as penguin png then put it as uh, images only which is the format then for the settings keep it as other Alright, so once you're done with that, you just press save, and you should be good to go. So it'll close out of that, and we'll go to our desktop right here. And you can see the photo quality and how good it will be on the web. It'll actually show the difference once you upload the picture to the website or any type of social media banners or whatever you guys want to add it to anyways that's it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video peace